You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I am your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Goa is considered to be the most fun and lively state in the country. So today we will take you to explore Goa or Viva Carnival, one of the most anticipated festivals of the state. The four-day extravaganza provides a wonderful opportunity for travellers to soak in fun and frolic. Take a look. A perfect blend of tradition and modernity, a four-day long Viva Carnival is one of the most awaited festivals of Goa. It is declared open by a lucky local who gets to play the role of King Momo and led the parade through the streets of Panji amid cheering crowd. King Momo or the King of the Carnival is the prime character of this extravaganza. The word Momo is derived from the Greek god Momus, the god of satire. Tourists from different parts of the country as well as outside visit Goa to be a part of the fiesta and have a glimpse of the state's vibrant culture. It is feeling good. This is the first time we have visited to uh, this kind of carnival. So it's a new experience for us. So really feeling good and along with kids, so they are also enjoying and everything. The carnival is not, is not uh, started yet, so I'm just excited and I want to dance and sing and have fun with my friend. So thanks for organizing that and let's see the weekend. Different float parades accompanied by live bands and dancers are the highlight of the carnival. Innovative minds are on display as they show the tendency to caricature even the most serious matters beautifully. This year, floats on issues like environmental conservation and coronavirus pandemic figured prominently in the traditional carnival. A series of placards with messages on same topics were also on display to create awareness among the masses. Uh, this carnival is special because it's an eco-friendly carnival. We are taking care to reduce, minimize the use of plastics and we are having a zero, uh, zero waste management ship and there will be no disposal of any, uh, no litter, any uh, waste. Animal issues also drew the limelight at the parade. While one life-size rhino float sent a strong social message to save the rhinoceros, Another float with a mechanized bull urged people to stop animal cruelty. Thousands of people were seen standing along the roadside to experience the unique celebrations. It is amazing. It's a great experience that you could not think that you could have in India. But it's here. First time I've seen on the carnival. First time. First time ever. Now is the experience. Amazing. Amazing. You're forgetting where you're coming from. You're forgetting that there's Oh, there was a pandemic that was happening. You need to, you can breathe now and you're really living. Focused on feasting and merrymaking, Weewa Carnival started in 18th century and is organized just before the beginning of Lent, a 40-day period of fasting and prayer. The carnival is exclusive and unique to the state and was introduced by the Portuguese who ruled over Goa for over 500 years. Though it fell into obscurity in between, but it was again resurrected as a minor street celebration in 1965. The earthy scent of India, its countless traditions and faiths collectively paint an incredible picture of secularism and peaceful coexistence of Indian society on the world map. 
It is quite common to see people of all castes and communities residing together and actively participating in each other's day-to-day -day events. Today we will take you to one such city in southern India where people of all religions have been contributing in the celebration of an annual ritual, Kola. Take a look. The 400-year-old shrine of Kordabu Rahugalika deity in Shantiguri locality of Mangaluru has been for long telling the tale of communal harmony. And every year this tale is recited and revisited again by the devotees during the celebration of Kola, an annual religious ritual. The arrangement of this religious congregation is done by the people of all communities together. Locals say that no matter which religion they belong to, they never shy away from attending each other's occasion. गया पुरातन साल में भी हिंदू मुस्लिम क्रिश्चियन एक ही एक ही होता है लेकिन अभी इधर भी ऐसे है क्रिश्चियन मुस्लिम अलग नहीं है वो सब मिलके इधर अपना उधर उरुस का टाइम में अपन जाता है उधर जा रहा है और सब लोग क्रिश्चियन मुस्लिम से परसों दिन उधर टीवी में आप लोग देख सकते हैं सब लोग मिलके उधर उरुस में फंक्शन में अटेंड किया है और इधर भी सब लोग आ रहे हैं और उसका कुछ कुछ का देने के वो भी पूरा दे रहे हैं पूरा ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ कोला हंड्रेड्स ऑफ डेविटीज बिलोंगिंग टू डिफरेंट कास्ट्स एंड फेथ विजिट द श्राइन ऑफ कोटापुर राहु गलेगा दिस ब्रदरहुड अमंग पीपल इज डीप रूटेड इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द श्राइन नॉट जस्ट द लैंड ऑन व्हिच द होली स्ट्रक्चर स्टैंड्स बट इवन द पंच लोहा मूर्ति वाज गिवन टू द टेंपल बाय मुस्लिम फैमिलीज and this bond home still resonates at this shrine during the annual occasion when the christians do join their hindu and muslim brothers to do the lightning and decoration wo hamara area wale ko baap dada dada pijjar wo log ko diya jagah hai idhar ka first ka bole to muslim jo bolte हम लोग हमारी ये इज्जत है वो इज्जत के सर हम लोग आते हैं और कुछ देने का पकड़ने का वो हम लोग बुलाता है मुस्लिम को समाज तक बुलाता है तब हम आना मत जगह भी हमारा परदादा ने सब दिया है अभी कितना के साल हो गया है इधर उसके बाद अभी चल चलता है सर्विंग एज अ लैंड ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी इंडिया होल्ड्स एन ओशन ऑफ शेयर कल्चर एंड स्पिरिचुअल वैल्यूज एंड इवेंट्स लाइक दीज वे अ ग्रेट वे इन एक्सचेंजिंग ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज from different beliefs for the creating a peaceful and harmonious society now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently An Indian team grandmaster Ramesh Babu Pragananda defeated world champion Magnus Carlsen in the Air Things Master Chess tournament The 16-year-old won the match with black pieces in 39 moves in a tarash variation game and became the third Indian to defeat Carlson after chess legend Vishwanathan Anand and P Hari Krishna. It was very hard because the game also starts at uh, 3 a.m. in the morning in the early morning and uh, I also prepared for it by sleeping every day changing my routine uh, to uh, to adjust to the schedule. and i think it really worked out uh, and i was also working hard uh, in chess terms also and uh, yeah I, i was happy in general to win it gives me huge confidence vishwanathan anand and cricket legend sachin tendulkar took to twitter to congratulate young grandmaster pragan nandha currently sits 14th on 8 points in the battle ahead to reach the knockout stage of the online chess championship as per media reports Indian traditional martial arts classes resumed after months of COVID-19 shutdown in Southern Kerala state encouraging children and youth including little girls to participate in a fitness regime students began their classes after worshiping the weapons and taking blessings of the teachers even though this is a traditional martial arts 
it uh, this art enables the society as a whole without discrimination of uh, men women rich poor without all these discriminations this uh, martial arts now enables the society to be more healthy and conscious kalari payattu involves training with weapons and freestyle combat the martial arts form also includes power yoga and massaging routines kalari payattu is considered to be one of the oldest martial arts disciplines in the world and used to be practiced by warriors in india's southern kerala and tamil nadu state it is still practiced in some regions and is popularly used in filming stunt scenes in movies Indian actress Alia Bhatt promoted her newly released Bollywood film Gangu by Kathiawadi with an open bus tour through the streets of Mumbai. Bhatt mounted the bus and greeted fans throughout the route and reached the cinema hall where her film was being screened. बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है अभी तो डे वन है आई थिंक आगे आगे बहुत सारे दिन पीपल को थिएटर में जाके देखना है बट सोफा इट्स बिन वेरी लवली और ये एक्सपीरियंस मेरे लिए काफ़ी नया है हम लोग बस पे बैठ के ऐसे बात कर रहे हैं काफ़ी टाइम के बाद ऐसे फीलिंग हो रहा है कि थिएटर वापस आ गए सिनेमा वापस आ गया है वे गोइंग बैक टू द थिएटर इट्स फीलिंग रियली वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव एंड फिंगर्स क्रॉस सब अच्छा हो यहाँ से तारिंग भट्ट इन दाइटुलर रोल Gangu Bai Kathiawadi is the biopic of a sex worker turned mafia queen of Mumbai of the same name. Next we will take you to Mayurbhanj city of Odisha where people of different religious communities collectively participated in the celebrations in the Hindu festival of Mahashivratri. India is a home to a number of different religions, ethnicities, lifestyles and cultures that reside peacefully on this land. It is the beauty of this harmonious land that despite all differences, people actively participate in each other's festivals and occasions. Recently, when the entire country was soaked in the festivities of the Hindu festival of Mahashivratri, Mayurbhanj district of Orissa presented a wonderful example of communal harmony. Muslims too joined the celebrations as they fasted with their Hindu brethren. Hum yahan pe Shivratri manate hain, Ramzan bhi manate hain. Hum yahan sab ek 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 hai, ek saath hain. Hum aise kuch bhedbhav nahi rakhte, Hindu Muslim sab ek hi hain. This locality of Mayurbhanj has both a temple and a mosque. For years, people of this area have been celebrating all festivals together, regardless of any discrimination. Locals, including children of the area, are instilled with the feeling of brotherhood and togetherness in them. हमारा वो जो शिव मंदिर है इसमें हमारा सब धर्म का लोग आते हैं शिवरात्रि को और हम हमको मदद करते हैं सब मिलकर शिवरात्रि मनाते हैं तो इस साल भी सब भाइयों ने मैंने मुस्लिम क्रिश्चियन जो हिंदू भाइयों सब आए हुए हैं एवं शिवरात्रि को धूमधाम से पालन करें सेलिब्रेटेड विद ग्रेट फर्वर एंड जील अक्रॉस द कंट्री महाशिवरात्रि इज कंसिडर्ड मोस्ट ऑस्पेशियस फॉर स्पिरिचुअल ग्रोथ लिटरली ट्रांसलेटिंग टू द ग्रेट नाइट ऑफ शिवा द ओकेजन इज बिलीव टू सेलिब्रेट द मैरिज ऑफ शिवा द लॉर्ड ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड पार्वती God is a fertility, love, and beauty. Nature holds the key to our aesthetics, intellectual, cognitive, and even spiritual satisfaction. Spending time in nature is not only helpful in calming down the mind, but also has a great effect on the physical health of a person. Celebrating the beauty of rose flowers, the Rose Festival was recently organized in the Union Territory of Chandigarh. It's been said a thing of beauty is a joy forever. The lap of the nature is abundant with many beautiful things that have the ability to soothe the mind. Flowers are one among them and to celebrate the beauty especially of rose flowers every year the union territory of Chandigarh put up a grand event. Popularly known as Rose Festival, it is the much awaited event in the city. 
After witnessing a low-key celebration last year owing to the pandemic, this year the 58th edition of the three-day festival was organized at the grant level. तरह तरह के यहाँ पे फ्लावर्स हैं डेलिया की वैरायटी ब्लैक डॉग की वैरायटी और जितने भी लिली के मतलब जो हम घर में उगाते हैं वो तो बिल्कुल छोटे होते हैं लेकिन यहाँ पे इतनी वैरायटीज जो हमारे मतलब हम पी के पास रहते हैं लुधियाना में लेकिन वहाँ इतनी वैरायटी नहीं है तो दिल करता है कि यहीं पर स्टे कर लें ऑर्गेनाइज एट द जाकिर हुसैन रोज गार्डन द फेस्टिवल किक ऑफ विद द बीटिंग ऑफ ड्रम्स रिलीजिंग ऑफ बलून्स एंड आर्ट ऑफ आर्ट फॉर्म्स द म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन अडोर्न द रोज गार्डन एंड द लेजर वैली विद वराइटी ऑफ फ्लावर अरेंजमेंट्स एंड डेकोरेशन लोकल्स वे एंड थ्रोल्ड टू हैव अटेंडेड द फेस्टिवल आफ्टर द लॉन्ग पैंडमिक ब्रेक था लॉकडाउन के टाइम पे नहीं लग पाया था ये रोज फेस्टिवल इस साल लगा है तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है डिफरेंट कलर्स के फ्लावर्स देखने को मिल रहे हैं डिफरेंट वैरायटीज के जिसमें मल्टी कलर फ्लावर्स भी और बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है देखकर पहले काफी डर था लोगों में कोविड के टाइम पे तो सब काफी डरे हुए थे क्योंकि हेल्थ इश्यूज बहुत हो रहे थे सबको उसके बाद अब ये माहौल देखकर बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है कि अब थोड़ा रिलैक्सिंग हो गया और थोड़ा सा मतलब अब खुशी है लोगों में एक्साइटमेंट है और रोज फेस्टिवल को देख के तो और अच्छा लग रहा है Chandigarh is a center of commerce and various botanical products and the rose garden is specially the most reputed for the exquisite varieties of roses that are on the exhibition. In the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. In a will of color and music, Bolivia's traditional carnival recently got underway in the historic mining town of Uruuru, halfway between the cities of La Paz and Sucre. Wearing elaborate costumes, dancers twirl through the town that sits at a breathtaking 3,710 meters above the sea level in an annual ceremony recognized by UNESCO. Almost 130 communities represented in the carnival, each one of them with unique dance and costume in honor of the Virgin of Sucre. Dozens of musicians and bands perform some 18 traditional carnival dances in a spectacle lasting over 20 hours. The show went on for 3.1 miles through the hills of Piedigalo along the city's western edge to end with the sanctuary of the Virgin of Sucreville. Me encanta yo de Pepino 10 años bailo en La Paz. Entonces enamorado. Oh, perdón. Yo le digo aquí. No, enamorado de Oruro también. La diferencia cuba todo es esa cultura todo es es hermosa la verdad me encanta me encanta The colorful Oruro Carnival or Ananta has its origin in the ancient festival of Ito celebrated by the indigenous Uru people who could travel to the town to celebrate the protective Waka gods After the Spanish prohibited indigenous rituals in the 17th century, the event merged with Christianity in a celebration that remains distinctly indent to the city. This is the entrance to the business space, open hub for the smart world opened by NTT Communications in Tokyo. Open Hub Monolith is an authentication technology where a visitor can enter the premises after reading the code on the panel with a mobile device. Open Hub for Smart World with NTT's latest technology in Tokyo is a place where technologies from various fields come together to create new concepts and businesses aimed at social implementation. We have a lot of technology, assets, tools, and experiences that we have to use to help the customers. え持っているアセットと掛け合わせて新しい事業を作っていければというふうに思っております。社会課題さまざまな領域でありますけれども、それをきちんと解決をしていって、一社では解決しにくい時代になっているので、そういったものを競争によって解決する、それを支援するためにオープンハブというものを立ち上げました。NTT's Open Hub, where technologies from various fields communicate, will be a place to solve many of the world's challenges in the near future. A robot that can concoct its own fondue using wine and cheese was presented for the first time at the Paris International Agriculture Fair. 
developed by the startup workshop 4.0 in Siri, Switzerland, the robot baptized Bopot removes the crust from the block of cheese and creates it into a pot. It then pours wine into the container, heats, stirs and seasons the mixtures and dip morsels of bread in the skewers in the fondue. Almost every part of the robot was made by the Swiss team. Pour nous l'idée de ce projet elle vient vraiment de l'envie de montrer que la Suisse peut être autant proche de ses traditions que de l'innovation et puis euh, le fait d'allier ça à la fondue ou à la raclette avec le roboclette c'est euh, des éléments qui font facilement la discussion et puis qui sont euh, marketingment parlant euh, très marquants euh, donc c'était un petit peu l'excuse idéale de travailler avec, euh, avec la fondue. Bobot, whose name is a play on word mixing robot and Bobo, which means chalet boy, in Frobog Patios is not intended to be sold or produced at a large scale. The robot is not entirely autonomous, the operator needs to intervene at some point to stop the mixing process otherwise it can keep on stirring the fondue until it is overcooked or inedible. Washoko is a traditional Japanese dish which has been captivating chefs from all over the world because of its delicacy, cooking methods, ingredients and beautiful presentation. An international cooking competition, Washoki World Challenge was organized via an online platform. Six finalists from countries like USA, United Kingdom, Brazil and Asia were nominated for cooking creative Washoko dishes. They got the opportunity to learn authentic Washoko cooking from Japanese chefs this lecture was delivered by YouTube. The continuous effort of Japanese authorities to popularize Washoku contributes in expanding Japanese cuisine all around the world. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma Jafri and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.